Okay, this should be a quick little video. Uh, another thing that comes along with GitHub is GitHub Gists. Now, this is single individual files. They're code snippets that you want to save to share, to use later, to reference, whatever. Um, if you've watched many of my videos, you know that I normally have a GitHub Gist link to in the comments. So if you're on the GitHub website and you are logged in, you can go to the gist portion of it. And if you just want to type in the address, it's gist.github.com. This is the home page. It's just just posted by whoever, latest gifts, uh, latest gists that have been uh, post. You can look at the ones that have been forked, ones that have been starred recently. So locked at last active a minute ago. Um, you want to create one yourself? Easy enough. Click New Gist. Give it a file name. Um, you can copy and paste code into here, which is normally what I do. So if I was creating a file called bubba.js, there we go. And let's just make it a function that returns undefined. There, how about that? most useless piece of code ever written. Um, so I can save this and I can create it as a secret gist which means it's only visible to me um, or visible to people that I share the URL with. Public gist, this is what I use when I'm hosting my videos. So if I click public gist like that, there we are. Now I have within my account created this file this is the URL that I can share with anybody. I will put this in the video so you don't have to type that out. Um, and then you've got this file. Um, now, in this format, you've got all this other stuff on the page. So I can come in here, I can edit this because it's mine. So I can edit, I can delete. Um, anybody who wants can star it, favorite. If you click on the raw button, this is the direct link to the actual JavaScript or HTML or PHP or whatever the file is that you're building. Uh, this is the direct link to that. Now, you can use this in a web page. Now, I wouldn't recommend it. This isn't designed to be a content delivery network. It's not something that's meant to be really high speed, but you can use this as a link inside of a web page. I could include this script in a web page that I was building. That's what the raw is. It's the actual file itself. This raw button points to the file bubba.js so you can see the raw content and it gives you the link to it. And that's it. That's really all that you need for the gist. I mean, you can um, leave comments if you want. Um, there's a few other little things, but honestly, there's not much else to it. It's just a great place to save code snippets and files that you want to share with other people. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.